In this video, we will show you how to submit a listing update request as a Houseit Assisted FSBO seller. The first step is to hover over the account tab and click on submit listing update. You can also access this page directly by typing in the URL above into your browser. Once you're on the page, you will start by filling out the name associated with your listing, your email address associated with your property, as well as the address of your home. You'll then want to specify which change you'd like to make. The most common change is to add an open house. So when you click on the open house dropdown, you'll be allowed to submit the date, the start time, as well as the end time. It's also important to decide whether or not you'd like the open house to be by appointment only. And keep in mind some buildings have certain rules about open houses and in some cases they do not permit general open houses. So you'll want to actually select yes here if that scenario applies to you. You'll also be able to schedule an additional open house by selecting yes in this dropdown. Another change you can make is to edit your listing description. Now, what we do when you want to submit a description update is we basically delete your existing description and we completely replace it with the description in this box. This is designed to minimize the risk of errors when making updates. So please actually resubmit your entire listing description if you'd like to make an update to it. Keep in mind a couple of things. Fair housing laws in New York are strict. You are not allowed to use any language that might be construed as discriminatory and there are many types of things that could potentially be construed as such. This includes words such as good school, school zone, family friendly, kid friendly, as we outline here. MLS rules also prohibit the inclusion of contact information like phone numbers, email, or website addresses from being included in your listing description. It's also not allowed to include status updates in the description, such as accepted offer, no longer showing, or anything of that sort. Anything we determine, which may be a violation of these rules, will be automatically removed while we process the description update. Another type of update would be to edit your photos. Now, the way we do this is you would submit a link to a cloud storage folder that has all of your photos again with whatever changes you'd like to make, whether you've reordered the photos, added photos, removed photos, whatever it might be. So when we receive the update request, our support team will delete every single photo for your listing and we will replace with the photos in this new link that you send us. It's very important as well when you submit photos that you affirm that you possess the usage rights to all of the media which you've submitted. Keep in mind that the unauthorized use of third-party photos, floor plans, music, or video without permission from the content owner may subject you to serious legal ramifications including possible monetary liability. So it's very important to know for sure that you have the rights to photos before you submit them. It's really not allowed to just go on Google and find a bunch of photos or take photos from another listing in your building and submit them as your own. That will land you in hot water. So a few other changes. Update listing price, very straightforward. You submit your new price. Update listing status. We ask you to do this in a timely manner whenever you sign the contract, when you close your sale, or of course, if you decide to go off market. Now, when you sign the contract, there are a couple of required fields that we need to update in the MLS, which we ask for here. Contract price, buyer name, and did the buyer have an agent? If the buyer did have an agent, we need the name and firm of that buyer's agent. Similarly, when you close the sale, we need the sale price as well as that same information we asked for before. Keep in mind, this is not us asking. This is required by the MLS in order for us to close the listing or update the status to in contract. Now, failure to make timely listing updates does subject us and by extension you to possible fines from the MLS for non-compliance. So please be sure to make listing update status requests as often as possible and as quickly as possible. One final note, if you're choosing to take your listing off the market, we want to make it very clear that it is not possible to delist and relist and delist and relist your property. Once you take your listing off the market, you will need to purchase a new listing package through Houseit and resubmit your listing details in order to reactivate the listing. A few other updates, raise the buyer agent commission. So here, if you wanna offer more to buyer's brokers, you'd input the appropriate number, you'd remind us of your listing price, and then you'd make the following affirmation. 
you understand that the higher buyer agent commission percentage you're now offering shall apply to all buyer's agents, including those who inquired on and or showed your home prior to the adjustment. Now on the next page, after you hit submit, you'll be required to sign a new flat fee MLS listing agreement, which will confirm, contractually speaking, the fact that you're offering more commission to the buyer's agent. Now another update request is a listing syndication issue. Now keep in mind that when we syndicate a property, we are updating a data feed and that feed is being sent to and received by third party websites. From time to time, third party websites might have issues in receiving the feed, reading the feed, or they may have other pre-populated data in their own database, which might be incorrect and which you might want to update. So on this submission form, you can essentially identify which site you're having an issue with, and you can explain the issue that you are having. Now, as a courtesy, we will submit this request to third party websites, but keep in mind that we have no control over third party websites. We cannot determine whether or not they will read the request, whether or not they'll respond, how quickly they'll respond. So really all we can do here is submit your initial request. You are free to follow up by emailing third party websites directly to see if they will honor your request. Finally, we want to reiterate once more that we do not have direct control over how third party websites choose to display listing data or any other facets of your property. We do the best we can, but ultimately these are different companies and we have no ability to directly change things that appear on third party websites. Now the final type of update request is a StreetEasy Easy featured listing. So StreetEasy Easy is one of several websites where you can, as a home owner, pay additional money to have a premium placement on the website. So the Street Easy featured listing essentially will uh, put your property at the top of the search results and it will rotate your property along with other featured listings based on the Street Easy algorithm. So the idea is to give you slightly more views and more hits and more traffic on your listing. So we can certainly relay this request to Street Easy. So what you would do is on the next page, after you've acknowledged the terms and conditions here, you would select a Street Easy featured listing package and complete the payment. Now keep in mind that the fee is non-refundable because Street Easy does not provide refunds once the service is purchased. So even if you decide to use Street Easy featured listing, you pay for three months and after a week you decide not to sell, the money is not refundable because Street Easy does not refund the money. Now once we've completed the confirmation of featuring your listing, we will actually email you that same confirmation through our house with support team once the listing is featured. Now finally, with respect to any update requests, we don't actually charge for them. So you are in theory allowed to make an unlimited number of requests. However, in order to prevent abuse from customers, we do reserve the right to charge $10 per listing update after 10 listing updates have been submitted at house at sold discretion. And once again, this is to prevent abuse from customers who submit an excessive number of requests. For example, if a client decides to update the listing description once a day for 15 days in a row, changing a word or two at a time, we would deem that to be an abuse of the system. And we would reserve the right to charge in that instance. So please help us keep the service free by limiting the number of requests that you submit. We hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like, subscribe, leave us a comment. We'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video.